Yeah, well, narrow gauge, that, like, like, narrow gauge switcher is very easy. Also, and it also, it depends on the size of the firebox, what type of coal you're burning, all that shit. Because oh, actually, yeah. with oil burners, it's not even that hard to do either. Well, yeah, because you could, you don't control, like, oil, do you not, don't you not have to, like, uh... You make Shovel. adjustments, but you're not shoveling. Yeah. Yeah, but you're but you you can focus on more like if you're just like twisting knobs, you can also be focusing on yeah in front of you. But the the thing up. is with that though, the oil valves are on the other side. What? Because it's set up for two. The steam engines are built for two. The only engines I there is one engine I know of that has its controls on the other side. Um, Central New Jersey Railroad One Thirteen. Uh, which is a very large 060. It's what Chris works on. Um, most of its most of its controls are on the right hand side. Well, it's all of its injector valves are on the right hand side where the engineer sits. And the reason was so that thing burns anthracite, and anthracite can burn for a very long time. So what you do is you'd grab your shovel, you'd get a nice big fire going. You can let that fire sit for two hours, and you'll be good. That's how anthracite burns. But you need a really big fire for it. You get that fire burning, let it sit, and then you do all your working on the right-hand side of the cabin. You never have to move. I'm back. Uh, welcome back. Um, Brad, I have uh, Brad. I have enough. Bradley, I found the Mesa. You get the steam locomotive hat? Oh. Again, Brad, you only need to do two. I did two missions. You afford it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my first mission gave me 8,000. My second mission gave me 13. Plus, I also got the time limits bonus, so. It's gotta be on time. All right, Charlie, you found it? Yeah. I'll grab uh, a bunch of Ultra Ball supplies and... Uh, That's fine. You'll, um, you'll need an IP. Uh, give me the, uh, the location and we'll head out. Um, I actually, I'm actually there right now. Um, I set a waypoint here, and as soon as you're ready to teleport, I'm ready to teleport. That's fine. I actually made. I actually have twelve ultra balls on me. Are you? Is a Golurk something you're looking for? Golurk, Golurk, Golurk is what I need. All right. Well, I'm looking at one. Uh, I've got some ultra balls. I can teleport you here and give you some ultra balls. Cedric, Cedric, beat me up, Scotty. Um. Now, what was it? I'm not going to buy the locomotive just yet. But that's because I want to build up enough money so that if I fuck up, I have backup funds. It's up here, Bradley. It's up, up here. Well, no, no, you don't. You don't have to buy. No, so you don't buy the steam locomotive. You buy a license. You you buy a license for it. The thing is, when you wreck an engine, though, you have to pay repair costs. But also another thing with the steam engine is. With with all the locomotives, you're you're in charge of servicing and fueling the locomotive. So with the steam engine, you have to pay f with the diesel. You have to pay for your get your your gas your your fuel, your motor oil, and your repairs. The steam locomotive, you have to pay for water, coal, repairs. Yeah! You know, there's a lot more you have to pay with the steam locomotive because you have to you know you have two f fuel sources, not one. I captured it. Water's not expensive. Huh? Water's not expensive, but you still gotta pump it. Oh, alright. I need to pump a lot of it. Um, to fill a normal steam locomotive's tender, you need 14,000 gallons of water. Hey, Charlie, there's another uh, golet up top if you want one. Oh, no. Yeah, dust skull. A dust skull? I'm... A dust skull. The, the thing... Thing is, rock on. If you're using rainwater, you need to add preservatives into the water to make sure you don't get rust. Oh, yeah. Bradley, I found something oh, better shit. than a dust skull. Did they, did they have alkaline-based water? Yeah. Back, back in the day, they would have some things, like they would have treated water, kind of, but unfortunately, not much. Nowadays, it's a big thing. Yeah, they don't want to rust the engine. They just spend all yeah. this time storing. Okay. Oh, I killed it, Bradley. I actually got emeralds off him. Holy crap. Hang on, there's some more larvitars up here. Where'd you go? I see you. Are you flying? No, I climbed up the tower. There's a tower? 
Uh, the heel? Okay. That's different. Oh, I accidentally killed another golem. What? What, the, what did it give you? Um, uh, it would have given me two dirt blocks and a uh, gas tier. A gas tier? Here's the larva. That larva. All right, I'm looking for Beldum and Rog and Rolla. These are the last two I need. Uh, and then I need a Luxray from um. The Savannah. Well, yeah, there, there are a ton of Savannah biomes. I kind of don't know if I even want to catch a Larvitar. So, Brad, uh, you know what I'm realizing you're probably supposed to do to make a lot of money? Mm -hmm. Well, not only can you buy longer trains, but I think technically you could take two jobs. You know, just take two jobs, oh, yeah. you drop off one set of cars, pay off, go to the next location. The only problem there is you need to uh, conserve your space on your actual, uh, you know, inventory. The is that uh, locomotive I got can't pull much. Yeah. Well, that's why you get the steam locomotive eventually. Again, because... Rock and roll up! Rock and roll up! Got one? Yep. The, um, the jobs, they pay... 7000 is your pay for a short... Uh, is your pay for a short run and 15, 15 to 20 is for a long run. So, yeah, that's why you're able to get it so quickly. So, I want to do the harbor to good spec. Uh, boss. A what? Scorpy, boss. I'm gonna take it on. Okay. I'm trying to catch this larvitar. Oh god, I thought I could go up. Okay, so I need to go this way. I need to go around. I call larvitar. Mm. I'm gonna go up the grade. Where are you at, Bradley? I see your way over here. What kind of boss is it? I want to see this boss. What level is it? Uh, 25. Well, for me, it's 25. Really? It's an uncommon boss? Okay, so I pick up two cars. Oh my god. Alright, my turn. Uh... Remember, I'm a headstrong uh, Pokemon player. I hit, hit first and hard. And hope I don't know. I don't play strategically, I just hit as hard as I can and hope it Well, it just murdered my Litwick, so. Oh, and it barely killed my Shroomish. I was trying to leech seed it. It's a poison and bug type, so fire, practically. Yeah, fire, because Ember's super effective. I got fire type moves. Oh yeah, you got a fire type. I don't have charm moves. So. Oh, that quick attack didn't do shit. I should've just did another Ember, I could've won. Uh, Ponyta, I think you know Ember now? You do. But you're- Oh, you survived it! Oh, but you flinched, you piece of shit. Very it is. Uh, Thundershock? Nope. You survived and you killed it, yes, with like 2 HP left. What'd I get? I got a flame orb, a poison barb, and some sand. Okay, start up the engine. <gasps> Maripee's evolving! That's the one you stopped me from evolving before Bradley, was Maripee. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you killed me while, it, like, as it started to evolve, you killed me. Not my fault you lost. Shots fired. I thought Mary evolved straight into Ampros. No. Oh. Uh, 
Mm, well. Hi, Bradley. Bradley. Want to see something? You're leaving all these gas tears on the ground. Maybe. Just maybe. Can you see the Pokeballs in? That's a Cherish Ball. Did it attack you? Don't call Diglett stupid. It attacked me. Hey Bradley, if you give yourself something called a um thing's called the Pokey Editor, you can make your Grove all shiny too. At least it's not a small Mesa. I just got attacked by a Graveler. I kind of don't want to fight Graveler. They explode. Oh. They do. Oh dear. They generally know self-destruct or explosion. That's good. You know what's funny? We're also right here next to a Savannah. We're also next to a Savannah. That's right, you could fly on them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, wait, you saw, uh, what is it? Be it was that one Pokemon special that I could never remember, but it had the black dragon and the white dragon that had no significance whatsoever to Pokemon or for some reason, except they were red players. Huh? That's when Golart first uh, appeared. Is in oh, uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. Explain to me where they fit in the lore. Well, uh, one uh, is the fire. The god of Pokemon, the god of time, the god of space, the god of uh, mirrors, uh, earth, wind, fire. Um, we've got, we've literally got everything. Where the hell do those fit in the lore? That's a good question, but I don't think really any legendaries from that game had any kind of significance. Like, literally. Like, I don't even think Volcanion had a significant. Let, uh, Google Chrome open up and I could tell you. By the way, Peaceful's off. Yeah, I know, I turned it off earlier. Need some food? I got lots of food. I got beetroot. Yeah, so do I. Did you plant them back? Should have? Does that mean you didn't? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't <laughs> You're the one that was telling me to. Why would you need to drink water? Oh, never mind, never mind. I should talk about the from the the thingy. There's Rhyhorns here. A ride on would be amazing. But like I said, I'm looking for Beldum. I don't know its spawn rate though, but I know it spawns in the maze. Holy shit! Hey, there's a Fero over there. There's Feros everywhere. Well, yeah, but you can fly on them if you catch one. They're big enough. Charlie? I'm here. Okay. I, uh, I thought I saw something. <laughs> I didn't. I see a soul rock. That's a pretty rare spawn. Ooh, that's a nice Pokemon. Right down there. Give me a look, guy. They were uh, pretty fun Pokemon in I hope he rapes you. Whoa. I always, I always like Soul Rock, but the game I always got was always Lunatone. 
There's a mine shaft here. There's a mine oh, shaft here. Really? So, does the mod you're playing with have the newest Pokemon? Uh, most of them. There's only uh, 700 and something Pokemon, but it's not... Well, it's... I'm saying, Brad, is in, does it have the one that, that came out for uh, Eevee and Pikachu? Uh, I forget the name of them. They're the little... Um, no, I'm trying to remember the name of the animals. I'm saying they're like the silver guys with the they're like a, a, Melton. a brass nut. No, yeah, Melton. No, Melton. no, that one is a um, Pokemon Go series exclusive. In fact, it's not even going to be in any other Pokemon game except oh, really? for Eevee and Pokemon Go. Yes, according to them. Now, of well, course, Eevee they changed that. Eevee and Pikachu. Yeah, well, it started off on Pokemon Go, then Eevee and Pikachu yeah. got its got it in its evolved form, but it's part of the adorable. Ghost series. Yeah, adorable. yeah. Well, it's also part, it's part of the Ghost series. I know. Yeah, I've yet to catch one. <laughs> I've never played Pokemon Go. It gets boring. All right, trying to capture the Soul Rock. You're just not. So you're just not trying to catch him. I found a bronzor. Yeah. It's a. 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 It's okay, Bradley. I caught a Celebi earlier. I don't care. I don't care about your <laughs> stupid, uh, stupid onion time fairies. Onion time fairy? <laughs> hey, look, another Bronzor. And I fell in a hole. You've never heard that one time, uh, onion time fairy? He's just the onion fairy, you piece of shit. No, he's a tiny, he literally traveled through time. I know that, but he's, he's just the onion fairy. And in, uh, Pokemon, um... What is it? Uh, the one where you are the Pokemon. I just forgot. I love Dungeon? Pokemon Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. I love that series. I hope they make a new one. Yeah. But I, 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 it's kind of hard to beat um, Pokemon Dungeon Infinity. There was a new another? Well, I thought after Sky, that was the last one. No, there was like two more. There was, there was Super and Infinity. I love Coliseum, but there's no reason for Coliseum games to exist anymore. Why is that? Well, the whole reason Coliseum existed was it was an easier way to play multiplayer, and it was the only way you could see Pokemon in full 3D. Yep. Yeah, but the 3D now, you can you can do 3D on your on you know the 3DS. In fact, you can even you know go full 3D, and it, also you yeah, know the 3DS 3D is super sucks. Easy now. Yes, but 3DS 3D sucks. But it's not its not bad. It's better than the N64 3D. I'd actually would have preferred the N64. I know. And that wasn't Coliseum on the N64. N64 was Stadium. Coliseum was GameCube. Stadium, sorry, sorry. I never grew up with Pokemon, so. Okay, who's on fire? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, I literally, I can't run, I can't change my Pokemon, I'm, I'm stuck fighting this damn Dugtrio. Alright, caught the Bronzor. Good. What's that Pokemon? It's your dead parents. Y'all seen those? And it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen shit like that. People love to do those. <laughs> the, 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 all the just weird name that Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, I'm scouring for a belt. <gasps> What'd you find? I didn't find the belt, but I found the evolved form of Rock and Rolla. Bulldor! That seems worth it to me. Isn't that one you was looking for? Yeah, I need Justin to trade him to, uh, uh, to make him his final evolution, but the problem is we gotta build a trading machine. I don't think I wanna trade with you, Bradley. Can we just trade and then trade right back, dumbass? I don't think I want to trade with you. Fine then, I'll give myself the Pokemon. I don't think I want to trade with you. You might you might touch my Pokemon before I get them back. First of all, unless it's Gardevoir, I mean... The Punny? Or, or 
Let, 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 let me let me correct you there. I know what you meant. Well, no, Gardevoir, Lepony, either way. They intentionally made Lepony out of that. I'm telling you. They did that on purpose. I'm still excited for the, the Detective Pikachu movie. It looks good. With Ryan Reynolds playing? Yeah, he's probably the best person you could get to play Pikachu. I know, he probably is. I mean, I will... I, it's like it's like Ryan Reynolds in general. He is a very fun, charismatic actor. Uh huh. So Bradley, I saw you in the distance in the dark, and I'm like, "Who's that?" And I zoomed in. I'm like, "Oh, that's a Groval, So that must be Bradley. I accidentally killed the Bulldor. Well, that sucks for you. I mean, oh well. I'm just gonna evolve Rock and Roll. Oh, hello, Rock and Roll. We gotta scour out. Hang on, I'm gonna look up on the wiki. How often does? Uh, right. Don't you need a rug and roller? I only got one. Took some on. Oh. Oh, you was trying to catch a boulder. That's right. Pixel on. Um, what the Beldum. fuck is this? Oh, that's a person. All right, Beldum. Um. All right, at Mesa Day, it has a 2.7 percent chance of spawning. So it mainly spawns during the day. Yeah. I know. Hey, you want to go like? I found a. Oh, hey, there's a yacht mask! That's a creepy as a fuck Pokemon, especially its evolution, which is literally a coffin with arms. I take it it grabs you and shoves you inside it? Yeah, that's one of its attacks. You know, for the kids! Oh yeah, all, you, you read you read the descriptions of Pokemon, you realize how fucked up half like, are. This is a kid show. What what's the balloon with the hands? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, Bradley. Looks front suspecting children and just grabs them and takes them away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bradley. So this is the lore. <laughs> Bradley, this is the lore between Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kyurum. Though they are the Dragon-type trio legendaries, they were created in a war that tore the region apart. They represent Yin, Yang, and Kyurum represent something spelled W-U-J-I, however you pronounce that, Wuji, something like that. But that's, th th they represent Yin and Yang. So they, they represent balance, which would make sense. Now don't don't ask me about Kyurum two or Zekrom two or Reshiram two. I only remember uh, the black and the white one. Well, uh, Kyurum is is one that wasn't a main one. It was a hidden legendary um, that Alex actually discovered for me. But um, he found that it's a it's an ice a dragon an ice type, and in black and white two, uh, Kyurum can merge with Zekrom. Or um, Reshiram and become a fusion of them. So, slant sure. Oh shit! I don't know why I tried to use a a electric attack on a fucking ground type Pokemon. I mean. Oh, hey, a Golitz attacked me. Poor little guy, he's gonna die. Ooh, there's a castle up there. There's also, you can, uh, from the starting place, you can see a, um, a, uh, telescope. Yeah, I saw that, the observatory, I saw that. I've been actually wanting to go see that. Okay, we're making a right up here. Uh, cut the throttle a bit and pull out the remote junction tool. Okay, the switch is set for us, I believe. Yes, sir. Come on, where is it? What the hell is that Pokemon? 
Or what's it look like? Palpitoad? I don't think we have anything from Sun and Moon in. Are you sure it's not from uh, X and or y? y? You know he's not. I haven't actually played a mainstream Pokemon game since Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. I've played every so one of them. Third and generation. Well, yeah. yeah, I haven't played since the third generation. And I know we're on the ninth again, so it's like... Yeah, there, there's a lot of them, and I'm not going to lie, Bradley. I never upgraded into the DS games, unfortunately, because... My I'm not, I'm not going to lie, lie, Bradley. After Diamond and Pearl, really nothing else was good. <laughs> Uh, X and from what I know, X and Y was pretty good. Yeah, it was decent. And X and Y I've, was I've, pretty I've, decent. I've, I've heard Sun and Moon are really good. Just the tutorial sucks. Damn right, the tutorials. I mean, the whole game is a fucking tutorial. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's like, had they removed? Because you see, there's there's a lot of the games like that where it's like it could have been fun if it isn't telling you what to do every five seconds. I know, and that was the Hello, annoying man. part. Back. Oh, and I'll be back. How are you doing, Hank? Dude. Alright. Not really sure what to do. What insulation would I be needing? Like Gmod? Minecraft server up. I say we take a bath! I have the Minecraft server up. No, 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 like, I mean the other one too is also up. I do not understand. There's like two now. You got yours and the uh, cows or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but there's more people on the other one. Did you know MTS has uh, construction vehicles work on? You should add that. MTS is added. MTS has broken. No, no, no. Actually. I'm talking about like, like they have like a construction vehicle add-on pack. Those if their engines vehicles. work, fine. Yes. Because the problem I have is that all the MTS, a lot of the MTS vehicles, there aren't engines for, and the mod fair is kind of dick. You just like yeah, whatever. No, it's like, sir, uh, the pack comes with, like, stuff that you need, but the, uh, it also requires some of the main pack, like... So what, is, is, is MTS kind of, like, immersive, where you can add packs? Yeah. Okay. But also, so, it's like, you, like, you know, put the parts together and make your car and stuff. So, yeah, so, so Bradley... It's, it's very much, like, immersive. Are we sure it doesn't matter what kind of Mesa it is? No, it doesn't matter, as long as it's daytime. I'm looking at it, and it's all the same. Okay. Okay, because there's Mesa Plateau, there's Mesa... Remember, it's always silly and belly. As long as it's daytime, Belgium oh. has a 2.7% chance to I'm just That's... riding on the flat cars for the hell of it. <laughs> I kind of want to catch a ride on, so I can ride on the ride on. You know what? Can you ride ride on? I love the fact you can ride Pidgey. I miss, like, I used to play that mod when I was younger, and I, I'd always get, like, Charizard, even my favorite. He's, like, on stop. And I killed Rhydon. Charmander's adorable. Oh, yeah. But, no, I like Charizard. He was part of my team until I remembered uh, what my actual team is, and it's all gears and gold. Yeah, his, his favorite team seems to all be Steel-type. Steel or Psychic. So what you're saying is if um if that new Pokemon was in the game, you'd have them in there. Yeah, I'm a golem trainer. Uh, what new Pokemon? Them. Oh, yeah, never mind. Metagross. Uh, my team consists of like Metagross, Golurk, um, what Boulder is my Golurk? Ooh, but, that's yeah, cool. But yeah, I'm all Pokemon. I'm all um. What are you ruling about? Uh, I'm going over the goods factory, and it's just really industrial. And what's interesting about the goods factory is, um, like, to get to it, it's on a lower elevation than a lot of areas, so you actually yeah. have to, like, loop over it and run back around and stuff. You have to do, like, switchbacks and shit. Nope. Oh, it's just a bird. 